so there we have opened it up just a moment so i've just supine position tunique you can see the video yes yeah 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 we can yeah you can Very see nice. break here right yeah it is so shifting open it up mm -hmm. that's a edb so you that's your neurovascular bundle which you retracted laterally that's where you put your periosteum in between the first and the second and literally you can see the gap there you can see that yes instability there clearly you can open it up with a lamina spreader and debride this whole thing so clean up all the small chunks which is there yeah that's being cleaned up as well and this is a towel clip which you can attach it or reduce it one on the medial side and the lateral and check for reduction there you can clearly see a well reduced see this line reduced as well yes and now this is where you can see clearly get your hand down i'm just pausing it get your hand down as far as you can right at the base so slightly proximal sorry slightly distal to the second tmt joint mm -hmm. and that wire goes extra articular this is look at the lateral side it's at the center of the medial cuneiform you see that yes how perfect. far down it is yes coming almost almost parallel to the <coughs> distal Head. foot yes yeah yeah and then you put a 4 yeah. mm screw <coughs> Dr. Navin, uh, will optimization of uh, video to Zoom uh, would help uh, play the video better? Yeah, yes, yeah. it does actually. But I need to before my sharing, I need to do it. I think the person who yeah, shares yeah. it needs to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You have yeah. to do it. But of course, we got the everything. But rather than a video, we got clips actually. Ah, uh, the, the no, steps. Clip we, can, we can we can see the uh, steps. Yes. So it, 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 it is in the slow mode, so it is almost better. But I'm also, <laughs> yeah. I'm also pausing it as well, just to explain yeah. the steps. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's yeah, your inter Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah. I think you got you, the. Yeah. yeah. The screws you use are mostly titanium. I always use titanium. Titanium. Because you don't want to drill, you don't want to tap. These are okay. easy, and these are cancellous bones, so that should be okay. Except for your metatarsal, you may just want to ream the cortex initially. Yes. That's okay. Girish, you want to add something on that? Uh, so it is a so self. Uh, it is a self drilling screws. Yes. So striker. So, uh, so everybody does it now. Even Indian companies okay. do it. So sometimes uh, we have poor patients, sir. We are in Bombay okay. still. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It's cost optimization always helps. One? Yeah. Good. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Girish. Can we take one case of uh, killing of the foot by K wire only? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that has to be with Girish. Killing of the foot, very nice name. <laughs> so, Girish, I'm next time going to give you a topic. Girish, next time I'll be giving you a topic: wonders of KY. <laughs> <laughs> so, is my is my screen visible, sir? Yes, everything on the screen okay. is visible. Okay, so uh, as Doctor Munuth has said that when you don't apply this principle from where to put a wire. Where to put screw? If you don't, if you go anything away from that principle, what can happen? So this was a 35-year-old female, history of fall from the stairs. This was the X-ray, and this was uh, treated like this. <clears throat> this was accepted by uh, the surgeon, and now look, look at here in the post-op X-ray, the lines are deviated. There is a clear cut a rotational instability of the first and the second TMT joint. Look at the articular congruence. They are not in the parallel lines, and there is so, a big void between. Uh, so yeah. issue, so issue is a reduction. Issue is not a KY here. Yes. Basically, yeah. Okay, but but surgeon might have tried his best to get this possible reduction. Any, but yeah, yeah. But the, yeah, the, yeah. the issue started from the reduction itself. Once your reduction Correct. is not good, Correct. how to but make you... it stabilize? Even with the screw, with this reduction, it will want work. Yeah. The implant is not important. Reduction yeah. is most important, I think. Correct. Yes. So, so now, so, now discussing on this uh, patient, how would you rectify now? How did you rectify this, Girish? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, so, this was treated in the closed reduction, mm -hmm. manipulative K wire fixation, and uh, we don't have the lateral exit to comment about the dorsal subluxation. But you can see here is this is a purely failed fixation, failed reduction, as uh, Naveen sir has mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
now now look at what happened after 6 weeks of the kvr removal 6 or 8 weeks mm-hmm. uh, this is what happened again we don't have his lateral view but there you can see that the whole midfoot is deformed mm-hmm. uh, probably the third fourth and fifth metatarsal tarsometatarsal joints are already subluxated and there is a big uh, void between uh, base of the second and the first metatarsal and there is a lot of calcium happened yeah. Uh, yeah. look at the cartilage injury here as uh, harsh has already mentioned the lot of cartilage tear and the bone contusions uh, so this was the instability when we have opened the joint okay. and again a small bone distractors uh, hinterman distractors and and the clamp application to get the uh, maximum possibility maximum possible stability of the medial column uh, this is a plate which i use i i don't drill the base of the second metatarsal because i always had a fear uh, of uh, of making a new fracture if the position is not absolutely perfect and this is how uh, the fusion was done because this was a 6 weeks failed uh, uh, fixation and the failed reduction and this patient was particularly went for uh, the fusion of the medial column and uh, this is 6 weeks this is 3 months down the line and this is the functional rehabilitation second case uh, just uh, i am putting it fast a uh, 30 year old male so previous case was fixed by the kvr improper reduction and this case was perfectly fixed open reduction and fixation perfectly done by the previous surgeon but look at here he has tried a open reduction and fixation but was too was put from mid i mean from medial cuneiform to the base of second metatarsal and as munus sir has rightly mentioned that this is a possibility which that you can get a loss of purchase on the opposite cortex in the final fixation and finally this was landed because this was a failed fusion they presented 6 months down the line and this was uh, treated by the fusion and bone grafting thank you absolutely right trajectory is difficult for uh, and uh, small bone uh, the trajectory should start from the small to large as uh, it is very well mentioned Uh, chandak sir can't hear you chandak sir can't hear you yeah i think that was perfectly uh, brought out that what is the implant of choice what is the principle good reduction holding for a long long period of time a good rehab that was perfect uh, you have any other question ravi if you have any question please go ahead alok if you have any question please go ahead yes sir no yeah i think that was a fantastic discussion and yeah. that was a Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the Facebook, there are comments only. There are no questions. Okay. Very useful. You want one or two cases? You just want me to go through? Yeah, you yes. can go through. No problem. Actually, yeah. Please. Chandak sir, there is no time constraint, ne? With the no, no, transmission. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Don't worry, sir. I'm here. Yeah. Oh, oh, you are there. <laughs> <laughs> so inter- interesting case. See, this is this is what happens. Yeah. Twenty-one year old lady. You can see my screen, right? Yes, we can see. Okay, okay. So, twenty-one-year-old girl had a road traffic accident, and this was the kind of injury she had. Mm-hmm. So, what would you, what would you do, uh, Thakur sir? Sorry, I'm just going to be a little bit interactive. Yeah, in my theater, uh, the OT boy says, "Sir, वो पैर की सब हड्डियाँ घसर गई." Okay. So, for the sake of time and for discussion, so the treating surgeon did this. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, the, so it just shows that the shaft of the second metatarsal was very important to be aligned. Then the whole midfoot injury. So this is exactly was done. This now is almost three years back, three to four years back. So this is a twenty-one year old college going girl, and she came presented one year later down the line with this injury. So somebody, I think somebody had asked, Alok had asked, what happens when you miss a Liz Frank? This is what yeah, all yes. happens. You see the first medial side. There is a bump here. Okay, yes. loss of arch happens. Hindfoot. I have not taken a photograph, but 
this whole midfoot just plays down. It just opens up like this. Yes, yes, yes. And the hind foot then starts going in valgus and all the stuff. And then she came with she before she came and presented to me. She had nine orthopedic surgeons seen her nine. I was the tenth one. Of the nine, seven had said surgery. No, eight had said surgery. One person said, "Okay, no, you you don't need surgery." So he was an orthopedic physician, effectively. That's what it was. So anyway, now what should be done? She she didn't have a choice. We didn't have a choice but to correct the whole alignment and do a fusion. So did with a two approach, and I think this video may work. So you can clearly see this whole joint which had to stable, which had to uh, wait. My video codec doesn't work. So we had to really release all the soft tissues from the malaligned joints. So first, second, and third. No, no, joints. it is it is working. Your video is working. It is. Yeah, working. we can see. We can see that. Yeah, we can yeah. see that. Yeah. See, so all the first, second, and third ray need to be really yeah. uh, soft tissue has to be really released. Now coming yeah. back to the point, I think one of the surgeons, uh, one of the question was, when do you do miss less frank when you operate, uh, when you want to fix or when you want to fuse? Now I don't think so. There is a right or a wrong answer. And what I see, and I've done quite a lot of miss less frank, is if you have a subtle miss less frank, you can open them, you can reduce them. The cartilage condition is good, you can fix them. But if you have a very gross less frank which has been missed or which has not been managed properly, and I think in both Girish's cases, those were really gross displaced less frank in the to start with, and if they come at even at six to eight weeks time, you cannot reduce them perfectly because the cartilage is out of place. Um, the cartilage would have almost already dead by that time. In those cases, I think you cannot salvage and you have to fuse them. So it's an individual thing. So. Depending on how much displacement it is, so immediate post-op. So you use the medial side plate, a trans uh, first EMT screw and second and third screws. She went on done very well. So you see that nice arch form, two incisions healed very well. That bump has gone completely. She she was fine after a year or so. And those are the X-rays. So first, second, third TMT fused. Now I'll tell you something which which I mean the story ends here for the Liz Frank, but the story does not end here. She came back two years later with pain in the second TMT joint uh, or the second toe. And why is that, Girish? Yeah. So this is the uh, the problem in the uh, AVN uh, is there? No. 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 It's an extensor tendon problem. No. If you see the yeah. height between the first and the yeah. second. Yeah. Yeah. The, that that metatarsal shortening yeah. is there. Correct. So the first ray is quite shortened. The second, third, fourth. Yeah. So th second is quite long. So yes. she's yeah. overloading on the second now. Mm -hmm. So she is having a second second ray metatarsalgia effectively. That's mm -hmm. why, because so the first you have to you have to shorten second also then. No. So you have to shorten second, third, fourth. You have yeah. to maintain that parabola. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, she is fine. She is not come back for the next surgery. So just keep eyes closed. Okay. Um. Another case. Tip yeah. So typically, typically, what they complain in the OPD is their foot is not looking normal. Not looking normal. Not looking normal. For that is the, the con continuous complaint. For the Miss yeah. Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. I think pain, pain is the main problem. Correct. For the Miss Frank because they are bothered, bothered about pain. Pain Somehow and they lip, lip, the lip. They are not able to walk normally. The ergonomics of uh, walking changes. Especially barefoot. Barefoot walking is a major issue. They still uh, find problem. that walking with shoes. Or a closed footwear is better than an open footwear. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is a simple list, Frank. Here you can see all the telltale signs, fixed up, all that stuff. So that's okay. Ah, this is an interesting case. Last case before uh, Sunday copy. This uh, young chap, around forty year old, injured twisting injury to the foot. Now complain of pain in the midfoot area. Now, if everybody saw, when I saw the first thing I jumped is, you can see a mark here. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, that's a list frank. And I tried palpating Girish's what? Fifth, the third sign or the fourth tip, Girish, where you palpate the yeah. TNT joint. He was yes. not painful at all here. He was not painful at the second TMT. Where he was painful was the first TMT joint. 
more on the medial side more on the medial side now what do you do lateral x-ray unfortunately i don't think so i have the lateral x-ray okay. sorry okay okay so, okay so because of the cartilage tear happened at the time of injury they may complain of pain anywhere there could be a first tmt or the second tmt pain that's why hmm. i mentioned that you have to palpate all the tmt joints correct if you are suspecting the abduction injury you have to palpate all the tmt joints Mm-hmm. if one part of the lis frank is painful you have to treat and label this as a lis frank injury only correct so luckily at that time i had a weight bearing ct access mm-hmm. oh. and here you can clearly see that Sub- displacement subluxation, subluxation yes. of the first tmt joint okay so that's your weight bearing ct x rays and this i've showed you this ct scan uh, this this could have been uh, possible to see in the lateral view also or no yes. weight bearing no, it, was, it was very subtle weight bearing not, weight bearing weight, weight bearing lateral i don't think so because there would have been so much overlap i doubt you would have been able to see it sir okay so ct was important here yes and here you can see clearly why all videos have a such a noise same so no, that is machinery murmur okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was I there it was there with the same uh, noise was with the giris also so uh, yes. i am yes. suspecting so yes. there is there the see the lis frank is unstable there no but i have a issue with this computer codec where i have to run it again at okay. different okay. parts okay so anyway the first the lis frank was unstable and here you can see there is a step between the first tmt joint where my the width is of the forcep yes the tip yes okay. so it was in the different uh, plane rather than the uh, dorsal dorsal plantar plane yeah yeah okay so let so me just say for yeah. none of the foot and ankle surgeon the lis frank ligament is recreated see. it is always fusion or refixation no so you can't you have to go on the plantar aspect and actually repair it and it's so deep you will not be able to approach it yes so now uh, dr mulu the question is you said that in a very small percentage of patient where there is a minimum displacement you do not fuse that and you can reduce and you try to preserve the even in the miss lis frank yes but the what is the then condition of healing of the ligament when it presents after 6 to 8 weeks as a miss rather than a fresh one what is the difference between these two case scenarios so i am and how much a... longer you are being the fixation and what is your experience of whether that gets the healing because that is the same problem with the syndesmosis so 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 i have almost now i am writing a paper on that on miss lis frank and doing a symposium as well on that and we have almost 6 to 7 cases where we have operated and we have fixed them not fused them and none of these cases almost up to a year i have not removed any implant in these patients okay and they have done very well without any issues but after removing the implant so after oh. removing after because remo- because we want to test whether that healing pattern changes after 6 weeks or not that we want to know exactly what is the difference between the fresh injury healing and after 6 weeks the because the ends of the ligament has remained torn apart and then you are trying after 6 weeks whether that unites or not so that is that was the theory behind because the ends are obturated they are not they are shortened they may not heal and that's why these patients should be fused so that's why, that's why the 6 weeks was the cut off but i but, think two or three papers are already there in the literature especially with subtle lis frank that you can actually fix them and you still get equally good results okay okay so finally this is the fixation uh, i showed you that that the movement here was a single full movement i don't know why the video is not playing properly and went on to do very well yes perfect okay